Hi, and welcome to CSS Hero. This is a quick intro to what this awesome software can do for you. So this is a fresh WordPress install. This is a this is kind of the, the starting point if you just installed your WordPress blog. And look at how powerful this is. Uh, first of all, before we even get into it, you can view your website on any device size. Look at how cool this is just going back and forth. So that's super helpful as you see what your site looks like. You don't actually have to only look at it uh, as a computer size. You can also look at it uh, from tablet or phone or anything else like that. So let's get into it. Clicking this button, now it says getting started point and click. This is actually just telling us uh, if we mouse over anything, that's really how we get started, okay? This is just kind of a, an info bar here, or info uh, section. So rolling over certain things, you see this. You see how it says sidebar, search form. Over here it says sidebar widget title. Right there is sidebar uh, links over here. Post entry title link. And you see this code right above it, right there. That complicated stuff right there is stuff you're not going to have to deal with when you use this plugin. That's what's so powerful about it. Just by clicking directly on that link, you can see that we have all these different options as we scroll down here. Keep your eye over here. As we scroll down here, you can see what's highlighted. We can change the CSS styling for any of these things. So let's go straight to post entry title link. I want to change the size of that. And look at that. Just right away, you can see it. Now, this is what's different. Um, if you were to just code this, you'd have to enter your code and then save it and then reload the page in order to see kind of what's going on. But right here, just by sliding right away, you see what's going on, which is really, really, really helpful. Uh, changing your font family, changing the color. This is really fun to just play with. Um, going down, look at all these different things you can do. Okay, so text decoration, font style, bold if you want to do uh, bolder or lighter. Let's see here. Yeah, some fonts don't have you know all the different options. Let's see, bold and bolder are the same, but uh, but just changing between those things. Line height is really helpful, although this is only one line, so it just changes the spacing a little bit. Moving on, take a look at text align here. Um, now I wanted to center it, but look at how it helps me now to make this code actually work. It's got to do some background stuff, and it knows this already and it tells me so do you want me to help you I promise to highlight with the red border the option to select so let's do that and then oh look at that block and bam it works so it's really helpful it's helping us you know walk around this software and do exactly what we need to do uh, just making it easy for us to just get it done without trying to tear our hair out wondering why it doesn't work so I'm gonna go back to um, working with this text so I, I click that first uh, this first button and then I can click on the element and then into the post entry title link down to uh, letter spacing look at that that's really cool and then word spacing of course just like that and we can actually do uh, transforming the words we can do uppercase or capitalization lowercase everything is one click away that's the thing that's so fun everything's one click away now this is all writing in code but if you don't know code, you can still do all this stuff and make it easy for you. Just by clicking a button, you're basically writing code, uh, but it's just such a fun and easy way uh, to, to get around here. Now, uh, text shadow, let's take a look at this. Preformatted, look at all these different preformatted uh, shadows. And then also you can do your own if you come down here. Now, I'm going to make this a little darker so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So there's moving the x-axis of that guy, and then there's the y. So you can place this shadow exactly where you want it to be. I'm going to make it bottom right, and then I'm going to blur it out a little bit. And in fact, I'm also going to make it a little... Let's see, what should I do here? Bring it on a little closer. Just a gentle little effect. So look at that. Just an easy text shadow. Moving on, uh, text overflow clipping. Ellipsis. Oh, so this is, you know, as, as uh, you type too much, it's saying, how do you want us to treat that? Do you want us to put some ellipsis on the end of it, or do you, want us, do you just want us to cut it off, et cetera, et cetera? Okay, so now moving on to uh, the next section here, we're going to click this blue button to get started again, and then I can start, you know, moving around and kind of selecting different areas. So I'm going to select this area right here. 
Again, uh, see this this code up here, primary post, entry content P. This is all basically telling the code how to select this specific area, and this software takes care of all of that for you just by pointing and clicking at it, which is really, really nice. So click on that, post content paragraph. Now we've already messed with text a little bit. Let's go to border, and uh, I'm gonna turn up the border width here just a little bit, and then look at this border style. We've got dots and dashes. I'm actually going to change the border color a little bit and make it just a really uh, kind of a softer gray. Now, m look at this. You can mess with the specific sides of the border. So we got the border top, uh, both the width and the style and the, and the color, uh, the border right, border bottom, and border left. You may not want to do all this stuff, but you can. That's the fun part. Now, there, it's, there's so many options that you, you may not be getting into all of them, but as you want to do more complicated things, the options are there. Moving back out, let's mess with this a little bit. Now, you're probably not going to want to mess with uh, certain things like width and height uh, for, for something like this specifically, but again, we have the option. That's the fun part. Uh, let's keep on going. Padding. So padding top, padding left, let's do padding left and padding right. You can see it's pushing those words to the next line. Let's go back here to uh, background. Let's change the color of that guy. All the way up and down and then change the opacity. Oh, an image too here, gradients are nice. For sure, gradients are nice. Might take you a second to kind of work with this to get what you what you like, but just the fact that I did that, that's a lot of code <laughs> that it's ready. Look at this stuff here, linear gradient, blah, 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 blah. This stuff is what you, you would have to throw in your code, and now it's just here with a click of a button. It just, it just pops up. Uh, choosing an image, of course, and then uh, this, these are all the settings for the background. So let's say you have a small little image uh, here, like a little, uh, you know, paper looking type thing. Background repeat, you can have that repeat certain ways so that instead of just being a small little image of, of paper, it kind of you know fills up the entire area. Uh, again, background size, this is really nice. This, you know, cover and contain all this stuff. This is saying if you have a, a, a bigger a bigger background, how do you want me to treat it? Do you want me to treat it where it cuts off the side? Do you want me to treat it where it, it kind of just it fits certain ways? Um, so these are just, again, one-click solutions. And the fun the fun part here is you don't even necessarily need to know what cover means or contain means, et cetera, et cetera. You just click on it and say, does it work? Do I like it? And and so it's it's almost like you have these few options to choose from versus, you know, basically just a blank line and hoping you get the code right or having to, you know, go over to Google and figure out, you know, what's the actual way that I need to code that. So, um, Thanks for taking a look at this tutorial. I hope that gave you kind of a quick overview as to what you can do. Obviously, there's a lot more, uh, but I just want you to, to kind of understand that this really is a game changer, and it will save you a ton of time.